going on YouTube? I'm back at it with another video. I know it's been a while. I got a 1978 Chevy Caprice. It's got like a copper color paint job to it. I think that's the original color. But I think the guy had it sprayed, whoever had it before. My homeboy, he bought it. But um, I'm going to let y'all check it out. It's all original car, you know, it's got a paint job did to it, a little graphic, but I'll let y'all look at the rest of it. Got brand new tires on it. All the weather trim. All that's original. All that trim molding. Tires, it's brand new front bumper, the bills around the headlamps, all that mint condition. I'm let y'all get a better look at it. But man, this car is. Pretty clean. I'm gonna try to check out the insides of it. All original. Since 1978, you know, you got wear and tear. But it's clean, man. Look at that. Door jams, all that, that door panels, the window seal, all that original. I don't know if he had it replaced, but I don't think so. He probably the guy probably had it replaced, but um, it looked it looked pretty original to me. I'm gonna probably talk him into um, changing the carpet out and see if he's gonna stick with everything original with the car. But on um, the back deck lid, all oh, that's in good condition. I mean, it's like I said, this is wear and tear, it's sun damage right here. It's plastic. Molding, it's wear and tear. It ain't that ain't nothing. All original car, man. All original. I'm gonna let y'all check out that engine bay. It's a dashboard. Check out the dashboard. All original. y'all check out the engine then and let y'all check out the trunk I mean when the door is closed I mean that's perfect that's like almost a brand new car right, there you go it's a 305 I'm pretty sure this is the original engine. I don't know if y'all can see it. Focus, yeah, there you go. That's 305. Um, I got it zoomed in a little bit so y'all can see a little better detail of it. And the hood hinges is a, a major key factor in these cars because once they wear out, It'll put a bend right here on the hood, but the guy, whoever had it, he kept them greased up and oiled up. And if you can see, they sprayed, they sprayed it pretty good right there in the joints. 
so you can barely you can just touch it you can just touch it and you see you don't hear no kind of squeaking or nothing like that you ain't got to put too much force on the hood and that's how it should be but um let's point out a little bit more things um got a they got the radiator placed uh i think it's a new water pump on it and by the way the heat in air do work so that air compressor it looks old but it works um that uh water pump boat i think it looked like a different style size boat or a different style it's like a copper color or something like that but um i think the water pump has been replaced um you want to put valve cover gaskets on it and um change the spark plugs put new wires on it um probably do a um uh descriptive cap and rotary button on it probably do all that and um what else we got i think that's pretty much it all right so um let's look at like the ac lines and i guess back in the day you know, I guess this is how they read codes for the cars, and it looks like everything is still pretty much intact with that. And um, the insulation for the hood is in good condition. Uh, what else we got? Vacuum lines, all that's hooked up. Um, wash the foot cap. I think the sun damped heat, damn it, you know, just deteriorated that got that pretty messed up but that, that ain't nothing um, that's pretty much it um, I don't know if we could take a look under the car but uh, let's see what we got it looks like a, I think it's a 350 turbo transmission or it might be 200 metric or something like that but uh, it looks original. I'm gonna have to look into checking it out. He want to put uh, flow masters on it. I kind of talked him into doing that. Um, he said he want to just, you know, he want he want to sign. He want to put headers on it. Kind of talked him out of doing that because you know, 305 they don't make any power. And putting headers on it, it won't, you know, really make a difference like that. But um. He just gonna be riding, you know, he probably gonna put some rims on it or whatever. But uh from what it is, man, this is by far the, the cleanest box Chevy I ever seen in person. That's original. I mean, if anybody else got one that's out of that's pretty much original, you know, I, I know like the sun damage and stuff, but like far as like engine bay wise. I mean, this is by far the, the cleanest one I ever seen. So, I'm gonna let y'all check it out. And uh, here we go. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all hear it. I'm gonna crank it up. And uh, I'm gonna just show you how good this car run. Let's see that everything original. I mean everything. You got that little chime whenever you put the key in. And I done, I don't even think I have to tap the gas like that. It's running. This is, it's almost to the point where you could probably put a remote start on this car, but I wouldn't do it. And there you go. Like it, it, literally, it literally, it literally runs like a sewing machine. Literally, it literally runs like a sewing machine. You can't even hear.
it's cold out here right now a little bit, so it's got it's piled up a little bit. And it, and if I tap the gas, the choke will probably close. If the choke will probably close, and it will out of bounds. But all original. All original. AC compressor still works. like share subscribe and we out peace